Let's shoulder. Go. Get him up here. Ready? I want to get a tube in here. Uh, OK. Get these trousers off. OK, we need a chest tube set up. Well, I'll do everything I can for him, poor bastard. You military doctors are lucky. You don't realize that. I could spend 20 years in practice and never see wounds like these. Guy's face got burned by a phosphorus grenade. He'll make it. But he'll have a face only his mother could love. Hey. Excuse me, but that's a soldier you're talking about there. Sergeant, we're discussing a case. Sounds like you're talking about a side of beef. I mean, come on, good Lord, this man's been through a lot of pain here. If that soldier has any hope of leading a normal life, it's not the grand. It may sound a little callous, but we really do care. Oh, yeah, you could fool me. I'm not trying to fool you, Sergeant, because I don't have to answer to you. You will have to answer to me if you don't do your best to help this man. I promise you that. All right, Sergeant. Are you happy now? Get out of here. Get out of here. How's that feel? Okay, we've got a 60 over Lieutenant McKay reporting as ordered, sir. You disobeyed a direct order out there today, McKay. Sir? Drop the innocent routine, Lieutenant. My radio went out, sir. Combo guys are working on it now. Is it something in my appearance, Lieutenant, that makes it look like I just fell off the turnip truck? I beg your pardon. Cut the right. crap, McKay! We both know what happened. You ignored my orders because you think you know more about this war than anyone else. Well? I had wounded men, sir. I thought they were a priority. You thought? You thought? You like flying, don't you, McKay? I love flying, sir. You're grounded. You're grounded until there's been a full hearing into your behavior. You've been pushing at the edge too long. Sir, with all due respect, we're undermanned as it is. We need every pilot right now. That is all, McKay. Sir, you've got my that word. That is all, Lieutenant. I want you out of my sight. Yes, sir.